Hi ladies and gents, Pond here with another video for Rise of Empires, Ice and Fire. Thank you so much for your previous likes, comments and subscriptions to the channel. If you haven't subscribed already, why not click on that button and ring the bell so you can get notifications of whenever I'm dropping content on the channel. And now onto the topic of this video and we are four weeks into the Dragon Relic event and I just wanted to kind of do a general video of the mid-season stage, show you where we're at, show a bit more of the information on the functionality. So let's have a look, look, see. So uh, we, as you know, I am playing in state 500 with my account, and um, it progress is slow. I won't lie; I'm only C16 at the moment. I am ready to upgrade to C17. Maybe I'll do that at the weekend. Uh, we've also started our Clash of Province full now. We're in the warm-up week for our first Clash of Province, so it's going to start getting interesting from next week with KE events and everything. But going back to the Dragon Relic event, this week is uh, a key stage in the event because we have now been able to take buildings and structures that are in the middle row, the middle row of, of the state. So you, you can see here that we have taken uh, the Alliance Stadium. So this building is giving us an extra 10% buff on our training speed, and it's giving us 1,250 points towards our Dragon Relic score. So if we go into Events and Dragon Relic, if you click here, you'll see on the list, it will give you the list of uh, the top alliances, obviously, and their scores. And if you click on the right-hand icon here, it's actually going to show you a breakdown of where you're getting some of your points from in terms of the landmarks that you've taken. So the game calls them landmarks. You can only occupy nine landmarks in the game. The landmarks that are on the inner rings uh, are worth more points. So, you know, the top alliances are, in theory, going to be vying for this inner ring of landmarks that we can see here. So these are going to be the kind of most prized possessions. Um, we've got all three of our alliance buildings, our alliance centers built in zones one, two, and three. And in terms of where we're at with our buildings, let's go into the alliance menu and into buildings. So you can see all three of our alliance commands are built. And with the sentry towers, we're onto group five of the, of the sentry towers now. Uh, so we've only got eight more that we can build. So that's going to be helpful uh, just to be able to occupy more land, which will generate more resources for the Alliance. Um, you can see that, for instance, in Group 5, uh, for the Watchtowers in Group 5, you need an Alliance population of one again, an Alliance power of one million, a tech value of 960, and then it's 9,000 stone blocks to do these. So I'm pretty sure that to... But when we do unlock group six, it's going to be 10,000 stone blocks uh, to unlock uh, each of those watchtowers, so sentry towers. Also, let's have a look at resources. So um, previously, we've looked at resources. So the more, uh, the more land you occupy, the higher your resource cap can be, the more resources people in your alliance can gain. Um, obviously, you need to donate stone blocks as well, as you can see here. Now, donating, um, there is actually... An interesting feature here that is giving system auto distribution uh, now only the alliance leader has as you can see from the notification only the alliance leader is responsible for um, doing that and um, if we have a look now into where how will you know if you've got rewards from this well if you go into the all mail into alliance you're going to see these here alliance resource distribution notices so you can see um, alliance resource cap was reached so every time you've generated enough resources and reached the capacity then the alliance leader um, just gives the distribution and 60 percent of the resources gained go to 40 players and can be distributed freely by the alliance leader so you can see here that i've obtained um, marble lumber food and iron in these quantities and you just click claim now what happens to the rest of it? Well, actually, still in Alliance, if I look um, at my historic messages, so if we look here, you if you are in the top contributors to your Alliance points through your donations, then you'll see you will get an Alliance contribution ranking reward as well. And um, I think, um, I'm not sure 100%, but you, obviously you can see 40% of these resources will be used for ranking rewards as well. Uh, so you're currently, uh, in this one I was ranked 10th and I got 2% additional resources um, obtained, which was this figure of resources. I presume that the higher you're ranked, the better the, the, the additional resources you obtain. And I'm guessing the Alliance Leader gets a, 
a buff of, of the of the remaining amount of rewards. I'm not 100% sure. I'd actually need to check with my R5. I haven't done that. Um, so that's how the but that's how the um, resource generation during the event is is delegated out to uh, given out to the alliance members. And if we go back into um, Dragon Relic, you can see on the territory it gives you the territory list, which is based on uh, the zones that you're occupying. And then resources is showing you the resources that you're generating per hour from the territory that you occupy. Now, a couple of things also that I want to talk about, which I hadn't covered in my previous videos, is actually regarding the structures. So, as we say, the, the game calls them um, landmarks. So, if you're going to occupy a landmark, it's a very key scenario it's a very like specific scenario that you've got to occupy a landmark so um they're available to attack on tuesdays thursdays and sundays this is the same structure that you're going to see when you reach main reign of chaos seasons where you have in seasons one two and three you have reign of chaos wars on tuesday thursday and, and sunday and when you get to the eden maps from s4 onwards you can only take structures on, on those maps on Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday. So the devs are kind of getting you prepared for the, the time the time frame that you have to work to in the game um, by doing the Dragon Relic event. Now, the one thing that I am a little bit concerned about that I think is unfair is that you with these structures, so at reset on Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday, these structures be become available to hit. So you can see right now it's locked. Once it's unlocked, you have an hour to kind of basically um, prepare, and then you have three hours to occupy the building. Now, you have to uh, defeat the level nine guardians. Um, how you do that, whether it's like by doing a rally with other strong uh, members of your alliance or just doing multiple attacks, it's down to you in terms of strategy um, to kind of work out what's best for your alliance based on the mix of players that you have. Um, and then basically, once you have um, occupied it, if you have occupied it, um, then it's locked for the next two days until, as I say, we go on to the... Well, it's locked for two days if you're taking it on Tuesday. If it locks on Thursday, then it's locked till um, Sunday. So for those of you that are playing in Europe, it's not a very good system because obviously with such a limited time frame and it's in the middle of the night for us in Europe, um, it's really discouraging players doing this. And I haven't actually been able to be online when we were taking uh, one of these structures so that I could, one of these landmarks so that I could actually show it in a video. So that's why I haven't done any video content yet uh, on this. Hopefully we'll find a convenient time uh, where I will be able to bring it to you. Uh, we still have, if we look at the event, there is still just under 30 days left of the Dragon Relic event. So there's still plenty of time and lots more to do. Um, and as I said, we've got to unlock another eight um, towers so we'll be using those to increase our zone so that's kind of everything that we've been doing in the dragon relic event and kind of a bit more information on um, how the mechanics of it work um, i hope you found this video helpful if you have please do click on that like and if you have any comments or if you've already been doing dragon relic and you have some extra information that you'd like to add in then please do pop those comments down below and if you could please share my channel and this video in your alliance chat province chat and through line whatsapp fiber discord whatever you use to communicate with your fellow players in the game that would be very much appreciated thank you so much for watching and i'll see you soon